Hello and welcome to today's digital marketing locker room session. This is your host Priyank Jory and today we're going to be talking about three mistakes which digital marketers do during their interview. Before I start the video, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead, like, share and subscribe to my channel and I'll keep bringing more videos to you. The first mistake which people do when they are going for a digital marketing interview is that they do not research about the company they are going to interview for. Okay, let me just give you a live example here. Uh, assume that you have not done enough research about their social media presence or digital marketing presence, right? So assuming you're talking to a person who comes up with a question something like this okay uh, why do you think our last campaign did not give us the results which we wanted okay if you have not done the research about that particular company and their social media presence and the campaigns which they were running you would never be able to answer that it gives a very bad impression to the interviewer that you are probably not interested or you are not a person who does a lot of research before coming over for an interview okay since you are taking the company lightly they are going to take you lightly as well so this is the first mistake which people do and i would always suggest that have a very thorough research before your interview the second biggest mistake which a digital marketer makes during an interview is not researching about the person who's going to be taking the interview so not researching about the interviewer is the second biggest mistake which you can do uh, there could be two type of interviewers in most of the cases okay the number one is going to be the person who already knows about digital marketing on the other hand you have a person who is a business guy okay who runs the business probably the ceo of the company or somebody like that right uh, who has no knowledge about digital marketing at all right no practical knowledge he knows what digital marketing is but he does not have any practical knowledge so in these cases it is never one size fits all so if you're going to be talking to a person who knows digital marketing you're going to be using jargons but in cases if the uh, you're having a business owner who's asking you questions you're not going to be using jargons okay uh, for several reasons is because first of all the person is going to think that you're showing off your skills and stuff like that but he needs simple answers okay so let me just get one question uh, which is asked that how you're going to get more leads okay very basic question uh, for a digital marketer in an interview right so for a person who knows about digital marketing you're going to be using jargon something like facebook lead ads conversion pixel you know conversion rate optimization etc etc but for a person who knows who does not know about digital marketing is a business guy you're going to be telling him about the campaigns the ad spend how you're going to be doing that how you're going to be running those campaigns and and getting over to a point where he understand the overall structure of your plan right so these are the two ways how you need to tackle these two different personalities from the same company so this is the second mistake which people do is that they mix it up right there is not enough jargons there is not enough uh, you know technicality to a digital marketer interviewer and there is too much technicality there is too many buzzwords for the person who is into the business side of the things right so try to avoid that research that particular person before going to an interview uh, ask the HR whom you're going to be meeting research about him what is his past experience what all he has done before and stay ready for both of the options never go to an interview with only prepared for only one kind of a person who's going to be taking your interview the third biggest mistake which digital marketers do is claiming to the things that they have not done or uh, a very small part of a very large team to have done that and you are taking the credit for it okay so never ever do that the reason why i'm saying that is because you okay you might even pass through the interview it might just work for you but it's gonna hurt you later when you're gonna be executing that stuff as i keep screenshots of the things 
so those are like my files okay so if anybody says that okay uh, how many uh, ad spend did you do for the previous company you worked for okay so i have a screenshot for that i can show that okay i used to manage 10 lakh rupees or you know 1 million rupees or ten thousand dollars or anything of that sort right so i have those answers with me and it is always better to carry a proof with you so organize whatever you have done while you are working okay take those screenshots uh, keep them with you make sure that there is no information which you're going to be passing on to them you do not need to share those files with those people but you can always show them during the interview that this is what you did right so first of all never claim okay for example i never claim that i have done affiliate marketing i've never done affiliate marketing so i never claim for it right but if somebody asks me that okay what have you done for facebook for this particular client of yours this is the screenshot which i can show it to you okay and those screenshots could be from the analytics side those screenshots could be from uh, the conversations or the emails or something of that sort which you can keep right and show it later just make sure that it does not leak anything out of that company because it's basically breach of trust okay so these were the three basic mistakes which digital marketers do the first one again not researching about the company about their digital marketing plans or digital marketing campaigns uh, number two is not researching about the interviewer that if that person is going to be a technical person or if that person is going to be a business person number three is you claim to do the things which you have not done okay so these three things you should always try to avoid during a digital marketing interview and this gives you a lot more chances of clearing the interview and getting the job if you like the content please go ahead hit on like share and subscribe and i will keep coming to you with more content like this